My name is Scott Zillner, and I run Power Morphica. Power Morphicon is all things Power Rangers. In short, it was fandomonium. It was immense. Thousands and thousands of people come. Didn't know like it was such a huge following until we went to this Power Morphicon and then we walk out and you just hear this like crowd of people just roaring. When you think of Power Ranger convention, you're gonna open that door and go surprise and see a bunch of little kids with cake and co it's not. They're all adults. And they basically they dress like Power Rangers. So I mean, I've seen. The Green Ranger plenty of times, which are pretty cool costumes. Uh, other people dress up as Rangers. Power Morphicon, now that was a brilliant experience. I mean, just to be part of something like that was fantastic. The show shaped my childhood, and the fact that it has its own convention just proves how successful it really was. Power Morphicon is a, a wonderful event that has uh, now going into, I believe, its third uh, iteration coming up soon. Uh, it's an event created by fans of Power Rangers for fans of Power Rangers. Power Morphicon is the one and only Power Ranger convention in the United States. It's a bi-yearly event in Pasadena, California, where you can meet all your favorite Power Ranger actors from years of the show. But now that the show is kind of having its renaissance again, um, we're starting to get invited to appear at them. It's pretty cool because there's other rangers from other seasons that that i get to see um a lot of times it's like you know I, i'll run into like selwyn from in space and you know it's always cool to see him or um sometimes i meet rangers that i've never met i actually got the chance to meet blake foster the blue turbo ranger walter jones jason david frank karen ashley nikita baris we got the stuntmen and the directors and you got people that that played the the villains you know scorpina and you got the writers we had stunt people we had voice actors we had composers i mean it was just great to have all these people together just in the same place and you could just talk about them we could talk about their work ask them questions for 20 years of having a show you develop some questions that aren't answered so the panel, they just sit up front and kind of talk about the show from their perspective while shooting it and get to answer all the questions that, you know, we're interested in knowing. They can pretty much ask us whatever they want and whatever we can remember, we'll share. I would definitely say that was probably where you get your money's worth was the panels because it's really a one-on-one -on -one interaction and you learn a lot. And they were genuinely interested to hear from you. I mean, they really were interested in what fans had to say, which was obviously brilliant. Uh, a chance to see all your heroes from your childhood in person, to shake their hands, to get their autographs, it was just amazing. And we had so many fans that come out and, and being part of the original cast is, is uh, you know, special to me because I was the beginning of this, this thing that has grown and continued to grow for 20 years and, and to be at the Power Morphicon, uh, and have all the fans come out and just to be so appreciated and so loved. I feel grateful. I feel really, re I mean, I know it sounds silly, but like I, I really truly do. I think that I feel grateful to be a part of something that means something to so many other people. And um, I think the fan actor interaction is interesting. And they still have that, that, that excitement is still there. Um, for, for us after all these years. I was sitting with some dude on just like a bench and Greg Aronowitz happened by us. And we ended up talking until maybe like two in the morning about stuff he had wanted to do for SPD and Mystic Force if he had continued as an executive producer. I think the funnest part about Morphicon really was getting to hang out with the fellow fans. So say you're missing that one specific toy. So I was missing this one specific toy. Or half a dozen different toys. Or maybe half a dozen different toys. And where can you go where you can find a huge selection of both brand new and vintage Power Ranger toys? Power Morphicon has the largest selection of Power Ranger toys ever, I'd have to say, in the United States and will keep growing to be bigger and bigger.
There may have been just a moment of nerd anxiety when I saw just how big the toy vendor room was at Power Morphicon 2. My first purchase was from CS Toys International. My girlfriend was with me and she's usually the one that's supposed to, I guess, be the voice of reason and say, put that back, you can't have it. But this time she was kind of an enabler and we just kept going back to the booth again and again and I kept stocking up on all the great stuff they had. Finally, Mr. S, who actually flew in from Japan to be there, uh, he interviewed me <laughs> for his uh, live show that he was doing from Power Morphicon 2, letting everybody know just how many toys I'd bought. So I was there in uh, the Pasadena Morphicon in 2010 and wow. <laughs> I saw that just all the age, different ages of fans you gather there and join the talking, you know, cosplaying. I love it. <laughs> it's really nice to see that, you know, different approach, you know, uh, from the what we, how we do it here in Japan, but how you do it in the United States. A few years ago, I went to the very first Power Morphicon convention. Uh, and it was amazing because uh, I was I was in the process of doing some other work there, and um, so I was interviewing uh, people for for something that someday I'm going to do. And um, the uh, I, I interviewed every everybody from five year old kids up to a, 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 a pair of sixty five year old guys from England that had come over dressed in full Ranger regalia. It, it's amazing to me to see people who've literally flown halfway across the planet. In some cases, more than halfway across the planet, depending on their routes. I met fans from Australia. I met fans from all over the world. It and was very much worth the five and a half thousand mile trip to get there. There are people who started saving after the original one three years to get to the second. There are people who've been saving since the second to get to the third. And then we have the fans. I mean, I mean, I've met some amazing friends through this. I really do have some great friends out of this experience. Power Morphicon got started as a Make-A-Wish Foundation wish. So the very first show in 2007 was, uh, was just a, basically that. It was a Make-A-Wish Foundation wish for a kid to have a Power Ranger convention because there was no Power Ranger convention. And it's growing every time. I think the third one is coming up and I'm sure um, it will continue. Uh, we're really looking forward to this next Power Morphicon. Uh, because it helps us to kick off the 20th anniversary celebration of uh, Power Rangers, which is going to be in 2013. And uh, we believe this will be the biggest Power Morphicon yet. If you love Power Rangers, support your Power Rangers. Watch the shows, buy the DVDs, go to the conventions, and let people know on social media that you love Power Rangers. And it's not just for kids, but it doesn't hurt. Would I go to Power Morphicon again? Yes. The answer is yes. If you've never been, you have to go. You shouldn't even consider yourself a real fan if you don't make the time to go to Power Morphicon, I'm just saying. Uh, my brother and I already have our tickets. I am signed up to do this again. I'm there for Power Morphicon 2012, where I'm staff once more, and I'm very much looking forward to it. Go to Morphicon. I will see you guys at the next Power Morphicon, and probably the one after that, and the one after that. Uh, I'm not just... Would I? I am going at the end of the summer and I'll be running the trivia contest again, so I'm excited. It's a power morphicon. It's more phenomenal. <laughs>